Hi everybody, Mr. H here to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on our key signature study guide and all the tools that you need to use in order to identify key signatures. If you are in Zorro or in Serenity, you guys have probably seen this before. If you're in Belisma and Consquire, you guys have probably not seen this before since I just made this this year. It's just a one sheet guide on how to identify key signatures and the tools that you can use. So first off, the main tool that we'll be able to use are note names, okay? So we see both the treble clef and the bass clef right here with note names um, uh, labeled out for you. You guys can also use your left hand and right hand, your guys' bass clef and treble clef to find note names like we do in class. Um, right here, you guys will see the order of sharps and the order of flats. I'm gonna be really brief with this since we're not gonna be writing down any key signatures anytime soon. We're just gonna be identifying them and using them within Sight Reading Factory. But just a little small rundown. These are just the order of sharps, fissigidibe, and the order of flats, bidjasif, all right? Um, as you can see, uh, if we look at G major right here, we see one sharp, that is an F that is sharp right there. Um, as you can see, that is a first sharp in the order of sharps, F. If you go on to D major, you guys will see that the F and C are sharped. We'll look at that. Same thing right here, F and C are the first two in the order of sharps, and it keeps on going on and on and on. Uh, same thing with order of flats. You guys see that there is a B in F major. Um, starts out with that B. In B flat major, you guys will see a B in an E flat. Look at that. B and E are flatted um, in the order of flats right there. So nice and brief, but let's look at the, at the um, tips on how to find the name of your key signature. Let's start with flats. So first off, Number one, check your clef. Always check your clef, all right? That's how you're going to identify your note name. So you have to make sure that you know if you're in treble or in bass clef, very important. Number two, identify the note name of the second to last flat. Number three, once we have the name of our note name, check to see if there is a flat on the key signature. If there is, add the flat to the name of the key. All right, number four, label the key with major at the end of the name of the key. Right now, we're just gonna be dealing with majors, okay? Here's the example below. We have seven flats right here. The second to last flat is circled right there. We are in treble clef, and so that uh, second to last space, to the top rather, is going to be a C, all right? There is a flat on the key signature. The name of the key is gonna be C flat major, all right? Take a look at sharps now. Number one, check your clef. Number two, identify the note of the last sharp. Okay, so flats and sharps are different in terms of this rule. Number three, once you identify that note, go up one letter in the alphabet. Number four, check to see if that note name has a sharp on the key signature. If not, do not put a sharp in the name. If there is a sharp, then put a sharp in the name of the key. Number five, label your key with major at the end of the name, at the end of the name of the key, rather. Yeah, you got it. Um, right here, here's the example. Five sharps, my favorite key signature. The last sharp is circled, okay? So you see that last sharp is circled. That note name is A, all right? That second space from the bottom is A. Go up one letter in the alphabet, A, B. There is no sharp on the B in this key signature, as you can see. So if you go up one, that is on B, that's that middle line right there, there is no sharp right there. So that means there's not gonna be a sharp within, within our name. The name of the key is B major, all right? You guys can even like look at all of these key signatures right here and um, just look at them and memorize them if you'd like to. But this is also another way to figure out. Now let's find out how we can practice them. So, sirenfactory.com, this is something we do in class all the time where I pull up um, a random exercise and we look at the key signature. So, in this case, we have three sharps within our key. If you go to the last sharp on either of the clefs, they're both the same name, just a different position for each clef. Um, you'll see that the last one is on G. If you go up, you can go to that A. It's going to be A major. You guys can also make your way over to musictheory.com or .net rather and go over to the exercises to key signature identification and you guys can do it the old-fashioned way like we would do it in class um, so this is just a little brief overview um, if you guys have any questions make sure you guys reach out to me hope you guys are doing well i'll see you guys later bye